Hello everyone, this is Flying Sangvi from vlama.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Report Studio tutorial video and in this video we are going to learn how to calculate edge. For this video we are going to refer this blog post. This blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. Let me open IBM Cognos Report Studio. So I'm going to launch Report Studio. I want to use GoSales FM model, GoSales package. I want to create a new report. I want a list report. And in this, I want to add uh, sales, sales staff, first name, last name, and I want to add birth date. I'm going to add this three column. Let me run this report. And I want to calculate the age for each staff member. For this, I'm going to right click on this, go to query. I'm going to add a new data item. Let's name it H. Next, we need to use this birth date column for calculating the H for each staff member. For this, we are going to use a function. Uh, we are going to use business date time functions. Inside this, we have for personal group or online training, contact us. Years between, okay. So we are going to calculate the years between the current date and the birth date. Okay. So let me open blog post. So I want to use current date and birth date. Okay. So let me open report studio and to type current underscore date, our birth date, and I'm going to close this function. Now, what is this function? So let me first validate it. No error. Click on okay. And I want to aggregate function none, roll up aggregate function none. Okay, let me minimize this. So years between, it is a function, it required two argument, date one and date two. Okay, returns year between function accepts two argument and calculate the numbers of years between two dates. Finally, it returns a positive or negative integer number representing the number of years between these two dates. Okay. If the date expression one is less than the expression two, the return value is negative. Okay. So let me run our report and this, uh, okay. So we need to include this edge column. So I'm going to open this edge uh, page. Let me add this and let's run our report one more time. And this is the H calculation for each staff member. Okay, so Alex, the H for Alex is 40. Now, similarly, we have other functions. We have months between. It is similar to years between with the exception. Months between is going to calculate the months between to given date okay so let me open our ibm Cognos report studio i'm going to right click on this and then i'm going to select go to query i'm going to create a duplicate for this Control c Control v and i'm going to name it age underscore month i'm going to edit this and instead of years between we are going to use months between validated it everything is fine click on ok open your report add this column and run your report so for alex age in years is 40 and age in month is 483 similarly the last function which we want to use is the date between function okay days between function it is similar to year and month with the exception it is going to return the number of days between two dates okay so let me copy this i'm going to again open our report studio let me close this execution i'm going to right click on this i'm going to click on go to query and i'm going to control c control v i'm going to arrange it i'm going to rename this instead of month I'm going to select day okay and I'm going to rename it to 
days. Let's validate this expression. Everything is fine. Open your report page, add this new data item and run your report. So this is the age for this staff member in number of days, 14725. Now I want to combine this age, age month and age day. Okay. I want to display the age for this staff in years, month and day. Then for this, we are going to use the third function. Y M D int between. Okay. So let me open our report studio. I'm going to right click on this and then I'm going to select go to query and I'm going to add a new data item or let me copy this, paste it. Let's rename it age in year month date. Okay. And I'm going to copy the function name from my blog post ymd int. I'm going to paste it here. Let's validate it. Everything is fine. No error. Open report page and I want to add this. So let me edit here. Run it. Okay. So for the Alex, the age is 40 years, 3 months and 25 days. Okay. So let me open my blog post. YMD in between. It calculates, it returns a number representing the difference between date one expression and date two expression. The return value has the form YYYY MMDD, where YY represents the number of years, MM represents the number of months, and DD represents the number of days. Okay, so this is the example where we are calculating the year month and date between 30th of April 1919 and 5th Feb 2003. So the YMDT between this two date is 12 years, 9 month and 6 days. Okay, so this is the return value. Based on this return value, its meaning is 12 years, 9 month and 6 days. So this is the image for the final report output. If you want to download this report, you can click on this URL to download the report. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe, share it with your friend, provide your feedback and see you all in next IBM Cognos report studio tutorial video. Some important URLs.